Hello, Electric City Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Factorio with me, Blue Ankylo. In the last episode, we spent a bit of time, you know, finishing our uh, battery plastic manufactory. It's pretty messy, but uh, it uses up some of our oil. Off camera, as you can see, I set up a large accumulator farm and two sort of solar farms. I decided to sort of spread them out like this. You could probably pack them together a little bit better, um, but I like this sort of layout because the uh, cables connect and you can run between them without getting stuck. If you put a wall of solar panels, you can't actually walk through it, which is kind of annoying. And I think I even defended it. I put some laser turrets up here just in case, because this stuff's pretty valuable. And I put a second farm down here. Uh, what's pretty cool is just with those, uh, what is it, it's like 21 each, I think? 5, 10, 15, yeah, 21, so that's 42 solar panels. Uh, it basically, we don't use our steam engines hardly at all anymore. If we switch to a longer look, you can see what happens overnight. Um, during the daytime, it's basically all, um, recently, it's all, uh, or at least mostly, uh, electric power, solar power. And then overnight, the steam engines turn on for a little bit, and then back to thing, back to uh, solar during the day. And then you can kind of see here, the nights are actually pretty short compared to the days by a fair bit. And you can even see kind of dusk and dawn, how they ramp up and slow down. It's kind of cool. Uh, the other thing is we've got more accumulators than we need at the moment. Um... There would be a green bar here uh, if we ever produced uh, green power, or produced uh, <laughs> green power. If we if we needed the accumulators, it would show up here being used, um, and we would consume it here afterwards. So when I first connected them, they used up a fair bit of juice, but nowadays they uh, they don't use anything. So it's pretty cool. Uh, what else have I changed off camera? This is all the same. Oh, I put in. Um, the little effectivity modules and everything. I actually don't need them um, as much as I'd thought because energy consumption is not a problem right now. Uh, since I upgraded my power system, I actually don't need as many of those modules after all. Uh, added some laser turrets. Oh, no, I showed you those. So I showed you those turrets. Oh, I changed this, actually. This is finally one thing that caught up with me. Remember how I said maybe you only need one pump for water? Uh, we definitely hit the limit with steam engines where there just wasn't enough water getting to them. They actually were down to like 2.0 on stuff on the water. So the steam engine power actually decreased until I added a couple more water pumps. Uh, it's probably somewhere around the realm of 1 per 10 or 1 per 8 or something. So you can make a pump go quite a long way. We're still not sure how much boilers we need because we don't actually... Part of the problem is we don't actually use these uh, steam engines hardly at all anymore. <laughs> During the daytime... I mean, they're barely even being used. Basically, we get all our power from solar now, so that's kind of cool. It means we'll use less coal anyway, which is probably good. We're less polluty at the very least. Um, and I think that's all I've really done off camera. I've gathered up a fair bit of batteries and uh, plastic just so we can continue on. Uh, one thing I did notice is we're slowly, slowly running out of iron at the very end here. This machine finally turned off because it ran out of iron in its vicinity, and then eventually these will all stop. And we'll have to move this stuff around a little bit later on, but for now, it's nothing to really worry about. We're fine. Uh, did I do anything else? I think I put laser turrets at the end of the, uh, yeah, just to protect the, the labs a little bit and the end of the, uh, the beaker chain, just to make sure we're covered a little bit better for, um, for protection. There's one, two, three, four, five sort of protecting lines. The oil, actually, that's the next thing we're going to talk about is oil. The, you can see here, the crude oil in the tanks are actually getting quite low. Um, and the oil refinery... Well, oh, wait a second. <laughs> it's supposed to be running out. The reason the oil refinery has not run out is because, apparently, I, uh, I ran out of storage space. The heavy oil is full. So, oops. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just add a couple more tanks for now, I guess. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four. We'll just double up the... Uh, light and, and heavy oil. I still don't know what I'm going to use this stuff for. It's basically all we're using so far is petroleum gas. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to... Basically, these things won't even produce petroleum gas while they're full of one or the other um, oils. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to add some storage. This is why I added them in the first place. So It's not a huge surprise, is it? I don't mind taking up the space there because... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be storing very much petroleum gas anytime soon, so that's fine. Okay, so everything's working again. Good. Uh, that'll get us some more batteries and some more plastic, at least. 
which is very important. I did build a couple speed modules, so let's go test these out on something. Uh, a couple more modulados. Um, I guess I could put some light in here. It's a little bit dark. Put one there, one up there. Um, one of the things we have to work on is we're actually running low on oil. Remember when I first built these and they were all around one per second? We're actually starting to run low on oil. So I'll probably be going over here and connecting up just a ton of oil because obviously I need more petroleum gas. So that will be uh, a fairly soon, fairly fairly near upgrade. I'll have to do that before too much longer. Um, but for now it's okay. One thing I can do is I could actually change the speed and instead of 0.4 per second, so I assume this is taking like two and a half seconds. Or no, it's taking one second and we're getting probably 0.4 of an oil every time. I could go like that and this will go faster and output its oil a little bit quicker. But it does use more electricity if you do it like that, uh, which is not a huge problem. So this is a temporary solution. And the other thing is you can actually improve the productivity, or you can combine them, of course. Uh, but this will, every so often, will get a second burst of oil. I tested it on like a, uh, an electric drill, and whenever this bar fills up, a second piece of item would come out. So if you're mining copper, two pieces of copper would come out when that bar filled up, instead of just normally one, which is pretty cool. So for now, this is my temporary solution. I suppose you could even combo them. Oops, oh, get out of here. All right. We're under attack all over the place. <laughs> I'm glad I put those turrets up. I hope my buildings are okay. Uh-oh. No, objects are being destroyed. No! No, 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 no. What's going on? Don't destroy my stuff. Turrets. Where, what are they doing? Oh, they destroyed over here. So we got attacked from this direction. Oh, I'm still being attacked. I didn't even see them. Oh, you, they just destroyed like... Oh, man. This chest had... It was basically a chest full of steel bars. Of steel. Uh, of steel. Like, absolutely full to the max. Oh, that is horrible. That is really bad, actually. That I'm right back to no steel. Well, I mean, I have some in my inventory. But yeah, this... This chest was full of steel, like absolutely stuffed to the max. Oh man, I was I've, I'm just off camera was spending some time, um, you know, upgrading my um, defenses, and I was thinking, yeah, we'll be okay. I put I was just I mean that's how I started the episode, showing you where my laser turrets were, and then a completely new side attacks me. Jeez, these monsters. We got to you know what? Let's research some some murder. It's time to murder some uh, monsters here. Oh, I also upgraded the laser turrets a couple times off camera. I think I got up to level two for speed and damage on laser turret. Um, what do we need? What We want to burn these things down, right? Rocketry, that sounds like what we need. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That's horrible. I just lost so much steel. I mean, maybe it's my own fault for leaving the important steel chest out in the open, but... Now these uh, laser turrets, they have a very small drain just to connect them. Six kilowatts is almost not noticeable. 600 kilowatts per shot, I think. So this is when the accumulators are kind of important. If you're going to have a big attack, you want to make sure the accumulators have lots of power to uh, keep these turrets going. Anyway, that should protect the iron or the steel protection for next time. Shoot! That's horrible. All right, well, I'll learn my lesson eventually. I mean, those laser turrets, they do a pretty good job, let's be honest here. They are pretty effective at what they do. Okay, so we're going to do some weapons, and then we're going to... Okay, we can build flamethrowers now. I want rocketry, yeah. Explosives. I, I just want to blow those things up. Blow them to smithereens. That's the plan for today. Change of my plan. I was going to start upgrading to the whatever the next tier is, getting more oil and stuff. To heck with that, we're just going explosives. I don't even know... I've never built rockets before, so we're into new stuff for me, new territory. How's my iron? We've got lots of iron still for producing. How's this chest doing? Pretty solid for now. Get some more uh, batteries. Pretty sure my electric system's good enough for now. We're just going to have to do oil for more petroleum to expand that. And more research, of course. Come on, research. Can I build anything with what I just unlocked? Um, Flamethrower or something? Not yet. What did I research? I researched... Sorry guys, what did I... Didn't I... 
I researched flammables, which just let me research more stuff. Alright, that's all. I think. Alright, so rocketry now. We can also build explosives. Sulfur and water. I can get sulfur and water. Good. Let's, uh, rocketry. That's next. Because we're going to want rockets. Right? Rocket launcher plus rockets. Go. And I have a feeling I'm going to need another uh, chemical plant, actually. So this is new stuff, guys. I haven't done this yet myself. Rockets, and then we're going to blow up some stuff. That'll be the plan for today. We'll just uh, build some rockets and blow up some bases. Try to protect our stuff. We'll worry about more oil later. I'm pretty sure I have enough petroleum to, for now to keep going. Alright. Give me another one of these. So, just temporary placement. Let's look at the recipe here. Rock or explosives. We need water, sulfur, and coal. Hmm. I'm using all my sulfur right now to make batteries. Actually, you know what? I could stop that for now. Let's take that up. Pick that up. I've got so much sulfuric acid built up here. These will keep running for ages. So, I'll be making batteries for a long, long time. That's fine. Um, we want to make explosives here. We'll need water. I'll have to make a chest for coal. And we'll go like this. Something like that. And we will... Good. Rocketry is done. Well, that was... I do love how quick this all researches. Explosive rocketry. That's even better. Let's research that. Or wait. No, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> I thought that would be good, but it takes blue. Uh, we can make landmines. I don't know about that. I have a feeling that's just going to kill myself. Flamethrowers. Level 3 military. We can get poisons. Oh, that's all kinds of crazy stuff. Combat. Can't actually get that one, though. I could make a flamethrower. Hey, now. That might be good. This might be easier because you just combine the oil and stuff. The heavy oil and light oil that I've got tons of. Or we could learn about alien technology. <laughs> I do have some alien artifacts. Hmm, oh, interesting stuff. Options, options. Well, I think I'll start with a flamethrower because it's really easy. It'll be quick and painless. Uh, fast inserter. Then we all get the water, so I have to change my water piping again a little bit. Um, actually, I could pull out from somewhere else this time. Let's go up to here. I'm glad you researched it. Give me a second. There we go. So we'll use a different... Uh, I'm out of pipes. I'm always out of pipes. That's one of those things I never have enough of. Um, I just want to get the, the ammo starting to build here, basically. So we're getting water. I have to add coal. Ugh. Take this chest. No, I'll leave that chest there so I remember what I was doing before. Put that down. Insert or actually put it somewhere that we can use it immediately. And a chest with coal, which I do have some. Okay. So now we'll be building explosives, which is it's got to be good to build explosives. And give me the explosives when you're done. Okay. So temporary explosive factory instead of uh, sulfuric acid. I might have to split this eventually. Yeah. Actually, one thing that's good about this is because um, this thing won't be running all the time, like, well, it'll eventually stockpile up to 64 sulfur. That should let more um, petroleum go this way to, f to fill up my plastic, because I am really low on... This is the one that's really slow, is the plastic one. Anyway, um, research. Keep researching, Blue. Come on. We just got the flamethrower. Can I build the flamethrower? I can totally build a flamethrower. And a rocket launcher. We're going to build both of those. We're going to stop using the submachine gun because bullets are sucky. Bullets, you know, we start with bullets. I'm actually running out of room in that chest. Wow. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll sort this stuff off camera eventually. I'll put, like, stone in its own chest and wood in its own chest eventually. All right, we got flamethrower. We're getting our rocket launcher here pretty soon. Good. Now we just need to get ammo for these puppies. And then we're going to have some fun. <laughs> Alright. Do I have enough rocket ammo to even start? I do. No? 
Oh no, sorry, that's explosives. That's not rocket ammo. How do we make rockets? Uh, we just use up the ammo like this. We just craft it ourselves. Good. It'll take a little bit of time, but that'll just craft up. Now, flamethrower ammo will probably take uh, another um, production thing. You know what I mean. Another uh, chemical plant. So we'll put one over here somewhere. Well, we will in a minute once we finish. The good thing is we're getting some rockets. 60 damage, explosive. I imagine you can probably kill yourself if you're not careful. Q is to switch weapons, so you want to be a, probably going to be a little bit careful. I wouldn't mind researching that combat shotgun too. How do I get that? Um, no, I can't get combat shotguns yet. That'd be nice. Just a straight upgrade to my shotgun. I can't... We can't learn explosive rocketry, right? Industry, energy distribution research. We're actually starting to run out of uh, green research, so we'll just finish off what's left of green and then we'll start thinking about blue. I'm a little bit concerned with how hard uh, it will be to learn all the blue ammo. Okay, I'm gonna, while all this stuff is constructing with rockets, let's go clear out these two small uh, enemy zones. Let's see what, let's test some rockets out basically. I wanna see if we get more than one shot per rocket. I think I'll use the shotgun to clear out the monsters first, just so that I don't kill myself, as I'm kind of expecting to do. There's a lot of them. I just I have a feeling if I used a rocket in close quarters, that would just be bad for my health. Are these things medium? Are they getting tougher as time is going on? Is that is that the problem? Because that almost killed me. Wow. They must be getting tougher. They absolutely must be. Because I used to be able to tank these guys like nothing. Alright. The rockets. They do their job. Okay, that didn't kill me either. So that was good. The good news is the rockets definitely killed that base quicker than shotguns would. The bad news is it uses up a lot of shotgun shots. Uh, let's queue up. I want a chemical plant. So I can make flamethrower ammo. And more... Actually, I'm out of explosives. Shoot. Well, we'll try to clear out one more base. Wow. Definitely have to be more careful. As time goes on, these things are getting really violent. Don't you get involved. You're not invited. Alright. Inserter, that's great. Is there anything else I can research easily? You know what? <laughs> as much as I thought we were good, I think we need better armor. These medium scale biters, they're tough. Holy smokes. I guess that's the difference. I'm used to killing small biters and now we start to fight mediums. I hope I auto saved not too far back. Wow, okay, well that'll learn me to go exploring. Medium biters, they kick butt. Oh, gee whiz. Well, Alright guys, I feel a little bit embarrassed about that, but I've never fought those things before. Okay, the rockets... The rockets were good. The rockets were definitely good. I wonder if it's the medium biters that are causing problems with my laser turrets. Because they're so much tougher. Wow. Good, good. I mean, I'm happy... On one hand, I'm happy because uh, I'm the, easy, the, the, the small biters were so easy. It's good to have enemies that are going to be more dangerous. But on the other hand, ouch. Just ouch. Maybe flamethrowers will work. Because the shotgun's only doing... Uh, well, it is doing 48 damage, but... Hmm, I don't know. Let's get this tree out of the way. Come on, rockets. Finish up. Oh, man, that, that was horrible. I didn't even... God, I thought I could clear out two bases. You would have thought blue could do that much, right? All right. Well, let's get some flamethrower ammo. Maybe get the armor, depending on how long that takes. And then we'll try again. <laughs> All right. Research is going good. Lots of greens, tons of reds. All right, we got our chemical plant. Let's set it up over here, somewhere like this. We're going to use you to create... Oh, is this not what it takes? Oops, did I did I read that all wrong? Flamethrower ammo? Made in...
Oh, here it is. Okay, good. I was just clicking. I, I didn't realize you could switch tabs there. Yeah, okay. That's the normal stuff. And then we can also make flamethrower ammo now. Good. Okay, so we'll have to add the iron plates ourselves again. That's fine. And we'll get the heavy oil and stuff connected up. That should be easy. Um, I might even be able to just... Like that. And like that. Just so we've got room to run through later on. Actually, wait a second. This... Light oil. Oh, I did it backwards again. <laughs> These things, they're always backwards the way I want. Heavy oil's the top, light oil's the bottom. Alright, alright. Oh, come on. Accidentally destroyed that. Alright, so. Flamethrower. Heavy to the top. So this one. Where's my pipes? Pipe to here. Pipe to here. Good armor. Just give me a second here. We'll use a little bit more underground pipes just to help out. There we go. Alright, so that should get it all the oil it needs. As usual, we will need to fill it with iron plates. Uh, and I don't... I like to have the chest to do that specifically. Um, I don't like having to stock like you you can put the iron plates in person like you can put them in manually like that I find that's kind of a waste of time I like the uh, the chest method because you can put a lot more than 128 in the chest and then um, you know you can stock it up for a while come back and pick up your rewards later on if that makes sense and luckily we got lots of iron plates over here the uh, Smelters have been smelting like crazy. Okay. This should keep it going for a while. So this should give us a fairly large amount of uh, flamethrower ammo, actually, because the way I see it, we've got way too much light and heavy oil. We might as well use it on something. That's the first thing I've noticed that even uses it. Also, that armor. How do we make that armor? We need processing units. Oh, no. I don't even know how to make those yet. Sulfuric acid. Okay, so we're going to need... I think the blue assembly machine should work. Let's pick up a little bit more ammo while we're here. So I've got a fair bit of flamethrower ammo. No. Q. There we go. Plus... That was one tank's worth. That's not bad. How much damage does this stuff do? Doesn't even say. Just infinite damage. I hope it is infinite damage. Um, right, so what I was thinking was I'm going to need an assembly machine somewhere near the sulfuric acid, right? So let's put it over here. Add some power. Okay, so what was I trying to make? I was trying to make processing units. Oh man, this one's tough. Sulfuric acid I can give it easily. Reasonably easily. You know, when I was building these uh, assembly machines originally, I didn't even notice that they could connect to pipes. Alright, so... Sulfuric acid, right? Did it not fill up? Did I misconnect that? Oh, it's backwards. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. All right, we've got sulfuric acid, but we have to give it advanced circuits and electronic circuits. Um, you know what, for now, because this is, I just need five of these things. Let's just manually do it. Let's make five of those, five of those. And hopefully that gives us enough. <laughs> I just don't want to wait all, all day to, to craft it up. I guess we are going to have to create better automated factories at some point because this is getting a bit crazy. Just the amount of stuff you have to build. Oops. I mean, the electric circuits are pretty easy. And it used them... <laughs> that I did it backwards. I used... I clicked electronic circuits first, and it just used them up in the advanced circuits. We're under attack! No! Let me finish my constructions! Come on, guys! Don't destroy everything. 
Actually, I think we're good. I don't think I lost anything. The laser turrets are pretty solid. I'm glad I upgraded to laser turrets when I did, though. Wow. Actually, speaking of that, uh, more damage, please. 200 research. It's pretty significant, but now that we're fighting stronger and stronger biters, I think having super powerful laser turrets is really going to be useful. I can add a lot of extra... I can mean I can have, like, 10 laser turrets everywhere. I've got so much power right now. Okay. Is that good? Go. Oh, it takes... <laughs> okay, that's fine. It takes... It takes a lot more normal electric circles. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. <sighs> I got... I guess... We're, I'll have to start thinking about this maybe off camera. I have to have a way to automate all these different circuits... How am I ever going to get the next level of research? It takes advanced circuits. <laughs> Which... Okay, actually, no. That's fine. I don't need... I thought they took processing units. That's fine. So, I could probably... I already have batteries, steel plates. Advanced circuits, I could hook up. I just need to get the plastic over to the line. Um, what's the other thing I need? The smart inserter? How hard is that? A fast inserter which is a normal inserter plus stuff I've already got. It's mostly stuff we already have, to be honest. It's just connecting it all up is going to be the trouble. It is... It's just more construction onto stuff we've already got. Just keep adding on to it, basically. Hmm. Let's get this running. I'm going to need... I think five more advanced circuits and quite a lot of electric circuits. I just want to make that armor and then try to kill that thing. Actually, is this armor even better? What does it say? Let's double check here. Um, how do we know if this is better? Basic modular armor. I think we're getting to the point where we're starting to make like electronic armor you can add stuff to later on, like add, add modules. Um, 530, 1030, 630. Phys physical, 630. Currently, we have... Six, you know, it's probably the same. It looks like it might be the same armor as far as, um... As far as... Defense goes on its own. Let's go check these alerts. I lost a couple pump jacks. That's not good. I never put any turrets down there because I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, guys. <laughs> I just, I don't have time. There's never enough time. I spend a bit of time off-camera building up, but then stuff starts getting destroyed, so... Alright, uh, after you build those circuits, please build me two more pump jacks to replace those. And then we'll need some laser... Hopefully this will everything's gonna work out. Hopefully everything will be fine, right? Hopefully. We're definitely getting to a slightly more difficult section of the game though. Okay, keep those building. We need five of those all together, which means I need more electric circuits. I suppose I could steal some from myself. Let's pick up uh, Oh yeah, we got lots. Actually we have way more flamethrower ammo. Hold on. Well Whatever, you can fill it up. We only needed fifty, so we've already got way more flamethrower ammo than we're gonna need for ages. Um, let's see, if I put this here, it needs to be smart though, oh shoot, I need a smart long extractor, because <laughs> I don't want gears, I just want, I don't think you can do that actually, smart is only short, short range, oh, I can't quite do... Well, we could be tricky here. Let's see. Um, you guys see what the genius is up to here? <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this a good idea? <laughs> is this a good idea or a bad idea? Oh, it actually doesn't quite work. That's a bad idea. That's a dumb idea. Um, I could move that over. Yeah. Alright, smart inserter. We want only... This one's electric circuits. No! This one's gears. Oops, that was bad. Pick up 
pick that gear up, pick that circuit up. We don't want that in the way. Okay. And then we want the <laughs> that to go that far. And we want actually to go around a little bit further. Okay. The good news is I can always use more uh, steel plates, so it's not a bad idea to have a few of those. And then smart inserter, we'll take that stuff, put it in a chest in a second. <laughs> this is getting a little bit complicated for what I was originally planning on doing, I guess, but that's how it goes. And you will pick up electric circuits, like I said. And assuming I can keep producing enough of them, that will give me a good supply of these. And uh, because I've got like four machines building them, that's probably a lot faster than I could build them myself. So, I mean, I mean, at least we got that. I'll probably have to set up... I probably should have most of these secondary items auto-produced like that by now. I'm just... Uh, I guess I never thought of doing it till just now. Okay, we don't care about that one. We're coming down to this guy. Alright, that should be enough. Actually, it might not be quite enough. Let's just build a couple more circuits ourselves. Feels like I'm wasting a lot of time here. What do you guys think? <laughs> Can I make more rockets? Yeah, let's go make some more rockets. Okay, that should load up lots of rockets for our battle in a second. We want to put... Oh no, did this... <sighs> rockets use circuits too, so I just used up all my circuits. Ah. Okay, well, I'll go pick up some more. <laughs> Every time I try to be smart, I use up all my resources. All right, all right. The reason I didn't put that chest there was that I was afraid that it would suck up all the electronic circuits and then my uh, research would suffer because it wouldn't be getting enough. But maybe it's okay, maybe it's okay. Um, what am I doing? Oh, is it out of coal? It's out of coal. It's been using lots of coal. Have some light, maybe. Uh, put more circuits in there, good. This will be the last one we need, good. We're almost there, let's speed that. Maybe I should have sped that up originally, actually. Also, while I've got these turrets, let's go try to protect the pump jacks. I am at the point where there's just too much stuff going on to try to remember, it's driving me crazy. Oops. go. We'll take down a tree or two just to make sure my turrets can see. We'll get our armor and then we'll go try one more time to fight those things. I mean, I have to make my armor, I understand, but there we go. Uh, no more rockets. That's going to take too long. We're, all, we're already over 30 minutes. It's time to wrap this up. Oh, wow, that's a lot of electric. Oh, this is going to take forever. Look, it has to take... I didn't look. <laughs> 30 advanced circuits. Oh no. It's going to take forever. I really. See, and now there's. <laughs> they're not making enough electronic circuits anymore. Why? Because they're not getting enough iron plates. Well, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> We're getting backlogged now. I need, I need a better logistics system, and it's going to take a lot of work to build up now. Um, you know what? Forget it. We got a flamethrower, we got rockets. The armor will be built eventually, but it's just going to take a while now. So let's go try it out. I know I know this time that the uh, medium biters are really bad. So is this weapon any good? What killed the killed the normal biters? That's a lot of biters though. I'd say it's better than the shotgun at just clear, clearing uh, the normal guys. The trouble will be the medium ones. The medium ones like guard it or guard the spawner or something. Something. All right. Rocket time. Well, that's a medium one. Okay, did that kill it quicker? What do you guys think? That was the wrong one. I wanted to get my rockets. Come on. Take it out. Quickly. Alright, good. 
Okay, one down. It took less damage off me than the last time. If I can just clear out this one more hive, then I'll be happy that we accomplished something. <laughs> oh, these things are tough. Okay, the flamethrower, I would say, is definitely an upgrade. Also, don't walk into it. It does hurt you if you walk forward into it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's the medium. Oh yeah, it definitely does more damage to those things. Is that two mediums? It is. Alright. Stop Stop running into the fire blue. Come on. That's a normal one. Actually, the rockets... I guess the rockets don't do damage to yourself? The, oh no, I flashed that time. That one must have hit me. Alright. Well, it's a step. Obviously, there's a lot more uh, nests of these things further out. But I cleared out two of the more annoying ones that were somewhat near to our base. That wasn't too bad. The, the combination of... Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Energy shield. Beam me up, Scotty. Power armor. Power armor? <laughs> I guess this is what we have to start working at. I do have some alien artifacts. That's good. Uh, night vision? Wow. Okay, we'll start with the energy shield and... We'll see how things turn out. That's that's good. I guess maybe that's what I should be working towards now, is better weapons. Hopefully we've got enough turrets to defend the base for now. I definitely am going to need more oil and stuff before long. Like, I need to keep expanding. We've got electricity now, but I need a way to make these circuits, because this is just going to take forever. Um, that's definitely my weakness right now, is just circuits construction, basically. So I'll, I might think about that. I'm probably going to take a break for the night now. Take a take a take some time off. Try to consider what's next. Uh, I can make some more rockets once my armor's finished. The rockets definitely seem to do the most damage. Well, wow, that was fast. We we researched so much faster. Um, I really want to see what this is like now, because I assume you can put batteries into your armor and shields and stuff. I guess we're just going to have to save that till next time. Personal laser defense? Discharge defense? <laughs> well, we'll worry about... We'll, we'll, basically, next episode, my power armor will be finished building. I'll, I'll make sure that's ready. And we'll start figuring out what to do with our uh, new technology. I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too. Next time, more weapons tech. Hopefully our current uh, turrets are strong enough. I think I upgraded them three times now. Yeah, five de they're up to seven damage each, which is almost 50% better, which is pretty good. You can see they're starting to rack up the kills, which is good. All right, yeah. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.